Now, um, like a little bit before the interview, we kind of briefly discuss, um, I guess your Instagram stuff that you kind of promote on there. I would say, when did you begin your journey of enlightenment? Enlightenment? <laughs> that is, wow. Okay, that's deep. I like that though. Um, I'm going to say maybe around 17, 18, I would say it's like around the time where I feel like I was spiritually awakened, you know what I'm saying, to actually even go after enlightenment to search for more of it, you know what I'm saying? So around 17 or 18, that was around the time I was still living in Colombia, you know, so um, a lot of things were just happening with my life then. Um, and yeah, it just kind of just happened, you know, when God enlightens you, when he awakens you, you have no... You know, say so of that. So, yeah. around 17 or 18, yeah. Were you familiar with the things that you're into now before this, or just something that, something that happened in particular that got, led you to um, On a deeper level, I'm going to just say everybody is basically enlightened. You know what I'm saying? Because this life is all about going back into your enlightenment. Um, but I would say just the burning of sages were really like led me to all different paths to explore more of enlightenment, you know what I'm saying? So I really wasn't into it like that, but just the burning of sage is what opened doors for me. Yeah. Now, um, speaking of like opening doors, <laughs> but when you burn the sage, like people got to be cautious of how they, from what I heard about it, uh, when they burn, they can't just they burn the sage and you got all your windows in Yeah, you can't leave. The, don't, please don't leave the fuck so out. The demons just run around <laughs> sorry, the can I curse? Please <laughs> yeah. don't leave. Yeah, the demons will run around. Do not leave. <laughs> Do not leave anything closed. Yeah. 